Hi guys, this is Ronnie from Manhattan, New York. So I'm coming to you guys with a, another cooking editorial. Um, however, it's not going to be named cooking editorial. This is Log 12 Part 1. So I have a Hass avocado, which I already started rolling. So um, when I just bought this from the store, it was on a super sale, only $1.50 for classic iceberg. And this is dull. Usually it's $5.00. It says that it tastes sweet and subtle and the texture is crisp. So in order, you know, if you don't know what kind of salad you like, you can look at the salad guide and choose what kind of salad you want. This saved me a lot of money because I didn't have to spend the money to buy carrots and I didn't have to spend the money to buy cabbage and it's all in one. And I got this avocado on sale for a dollar. So I am so happy, guys. So I'm going to set you guys right here. Well, I grab my ingredients and put them together for this salad. And I hope you guys enjoy this salad tutorial. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be pouring some Canada Dry Ginger Ale because, as you guys know, I told you guys, I wasn't feeling so well. I'm a bit under the weather. And I didn't have any juice or soda in the house. I had stocked up, like when I buy these, I buy like four or five. And it lasts me for like a whole month because I don't drink it consistently. So, like, I won't open any for a while. And I'll just be good to go. So, you want to grab your lemon juice of your choice. I'm going to be adding some grapes because I don't want it to spoil. So, I grabbed some seedless green grapes and some seedless purple grapes. Some real lemon, 100% lemon juice. A big pot. So I grab my big pot. You guys can see. I don't know how I'm gonna put you guys for this editorial. So first things first, um, I am gonna try to position you guys so you guys can see this editorial just like up, oh, just like guys, which is kind of difficult. Oh, there we go. Score. So. First things first, you want to wash your salad. So you want to grab your salt and your container that you're going to put your salad in. It'll be my pot because I'll just put the cover for my pot on top. Uh, you guys, I did not finish the shredded chicken. I couldn't. It was absolutely delish. But it was easier to leave the pot. And I've scrubbed it. <laughs> Everything. I've scrubbed it, washed it. It was easier to leave the pot. So, what can I say? So, I grabbed this big pot. Grab my salad. And I'm gonna grab a pan share. So this is my kitchen, my fabware kitchen scissors. It came with a set. I think it was like a 27 piece. It was super cheap, guys. It was like ten dollars. I was like, my mind was blown. You're gonna empty your contents into your container. If your salad isn't small enough, you can use your kitchen shears and cut them up a little smaller. So I'm going to be washing my shears real quick and then I'm going to use them to cut my salad a little smaller. Or you can use your knife, whichever one you choose. Um, you know, I'm going to use my kitchen shears. 
gonna wash my hands before I start this. So I'm just grabbing bulks. I'm just grabbing bulks and cutting it smaller because I like my salad really nice. I actually like shredded salad and I also like cut up salad. So it depends on what I'm in for at the moment. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm just cutting the salad in the actual pot. Just cutting it up. Cutting it. And when you've got it to your desired texture, then you can just stop cutting. So I'm just cutting away. Cutting, cutting, cutting away. Cutting away. So that we So that's pretty much good for me. So you guys can see, I didn't go too small. I just went like really medium. Um, they already cut it pretty well. And you can smell that they like rinsed it so you can still smell the dirt on the salad. So I'm grabbing my adobo. And I'm just going to pour some in there. At this point, you can remove your share. And whatever access salad is on your share, you can just... Um, just rinse it off, you know, just rinse it off. So then I'm going to fill the pot with water. And this is how you wash your salad with salt and water. Because you don't want your salad to spoil, but you also don't want to be eating dirt because if the dirt, um, is not um, properly sanitized. As you know, you have dirt that's sanitized and dirt that isn't because of certain vegetables need that dookie. And that's why it's always important when you go home to wash your salad. So you pour all that water with the salt, then you refill the pot. You refill the pot with water and you rinse off the salt water. Then you go back and you pour some regular water. Especially if you're going to make a home dressing like I am going to. So I use one fourth of a cup water, regular water, then I'm going to add this Zeman's own low-fat basmetic vinaigrette dressing, and I'm just going to pour that in there, the entire thing. And then I am going to sprinkle some salt in there. Then I'm going to sprinkle some black pepper in there. Um, I sprinkled a uh, half a spoonful of black pepper, half a spoonful of adobo, a spoonful of lemon juice. So now I'm going to wash my grapes with soap and water to do the trick for me.
And then I am just going to be removing it from the um, from this. And removing any of them that has a twig on them. And then you're just going to use your shears and cut them in half. So I just use my shears and cut the grape in half and put it in my salad. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm just cutting the grape in half. I'm letting it fall in my salad. Um, you want to make sure you have some oil because this is an entire bag of salad, so I don't think that packet, that packet is, you want to um, put your dressing according to taste. I like heavily dressed, well not, well yeah, heavily, <laughs> depends on my mood. Right now I'm kind of going for a heavily dressed salad. Because this is for myself, usually I would have cut off the two ends and then just cut it in the middle. And that would have been the way to make my salad. So I have enough grapes to lift a snack on there. Now I'm grabbing my green grapes and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to remove them from the, the stringy thing and eat them at a good time. And these are more bigger, so I'm just cutting them in about three. Cut them in half as well. Now, I'm grabbing my avocado that I've already rolled. Because you guys know um, avocados are kind of hard when you get them. So once that I've rolled it enough, I'm just going to cut it in half. Can you guys see the way I'm cutting it? You want to make sure you feel the seed when you cut it in half or else. So. Ooh, the skin came right off. This was really good. So the skin came right off. I'm just going to. Can you guys see the skin came right off? Definitely right. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know when it's right because you want to throw out the seed in the middle. You don't want to try to eat that. Some people eat it. I don't. You want to mash it in your hands. I just mash it really small in your hands. If you don't want to do it in your hands, you can always grab a bowl and do it like that. I'm just smashing it with my hands. And this feels really cool. <laughs> really cool. So 
this should be what it looks like when you finish smashing it with your hands. And then of course you don't want to waste it. So anything that's on your hands, you just want to put in the pot or your container of your choice. Then you want to rinse your hands. And you just want to toss it. You're ready to, you're good to go. You just want to toss it now. Mix all your ingredients together. Some of you guys like using the spatula thing. I'm just mixing it together with my fork. Um, as you guys know, I baked the coconut breast, coconut chicken breast. Baked them. So I'm going to be eating coconut chicken breast over avocado salad. This is home, over homemade salad. I don't have a name for it. Um, this is purely just my own idea of a salad. You don't have to do what I did. I'm grabbing the vegetable oil now. And I'm pouring a little bit in there. About a spoonful. But again, all my ingredients is to taste. So it's how you want to eat it. You don't have to do it the way I did it. It's all to taste. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the bomb because when I make my balsamic at home, I usually just add um, salt and pepper and oil. And that's like a balsamic to me. So, um, when you buy it in the store, they add vinegar. But I don't um, think, I don't like the flavor when I add vinegar. Too much to my salad dressing. So if it's already made with the vinegar, I'll eat it. And this is, voila, this is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoy this editorial. Again, this is not for the hot meter. I'm gonna give you guys a close up. So this is the close up of the salad. I hope you guys enjoy this editorial. Again, this is Brandon from Manhattan, New York. Be blessed. I'll do the same. Mwah.